No Restrictions Entertainment has become accustomed to dealing with difficult subject matter. The Los Angeles production company's previous films have dealt with runaways and homelessness, but its latest project examines the traumatic impact of domestic violence. It's called Mother's Red Dress. It's about a young man who has witnessed domestic violence. His mother just killed uh, a lover, and uh, he leaves. She threatens to kill him, so he leaves to start a new life. Some scenes from the film were shot in inland Southern California, including this home in Riverside. We shot another feature film, an independent one, last year uh, in December in Upland and in Ontario. And the experience was really good. The people were very open and generous, giving us time and their locations. Our producer scouted Riverside and we found the same reaction. It's basically a, a small town near Los Angeles. Scene 71, take one. Mother's Red Dress tells the story of a young Ready. man who struggles to leave a broken home, plagued by domestic and alcohol abuse. The script for me, it's a really good script. Mm -hmm. Everything about it was detailed and there were, there were so many elements to the story, it, it drew me in. I realized there was just unbelievable amounts of different emotions and feelings that this character Paul goes through. The main character, Paul, falls in love with Ashley, who's also struggling to deal with issues in her own life. This is where Ashley lives. Ashley and I meet, and we then kind of bond over similar having difficult past. And uh, it's kind of, it's like an instant kind of connection. In part, that's because we've both gone through some really tough things in our lives. Mother's Red Dress is one of a series of films about social issues, supported by such nonprofit organizations as the United Way and the Coalition for the Homeless. One film will be produced a year for a total of seven. I'm a fantasy girl. I act out whatever fantasy a guy has. No sex. No turn tricks. One Hour Fantasy Girl was produced in 2008 and tells the story of a runaway who comes to Los Angeles. The Magic Stone was produced in 2009 to bring light to the issue of homelessness. Both were written and directed by Bravo. I base them on people that I know or my own experiences. And it seems to be very uh, powerful that way. The stories are more realistic and the emotions are very strong. They hope it will inspire people to be compassionate. You never know people when you come across and what you meet that what's going on with them in their lives. And, and take action. Uh, we avoid the issues of people who have psychological problems or homelessness or whatever. Um, but once you get into their life through the narrative, then you know you, you get emotionally invested and you see that we're all the same. And so our hope is that people not only get entertained, but they go, okay, we want to like do something about it. In Riverside, Julianne Non, InlandSoCal.com.